welcome to the world of biology. Senses are the winters of knowledge. The stimulus like to see, to hear, to smell, to taste and to feel are received by these sense organs. Today we will discuss more about sense organs. Apart from other organisms, humans are having well developed cranial capacity. Then what about the sense organs? Let's check the case of eye. For example, the eagle that can see its prey from long distance or we can say even from kilometers apart. It can see and identify its movements. Thus, in the case of eyesight, we are far behind than eagles. Then what about owl? Owl can see even at night. What about us? Then check about the hearing capacity of bats and dolphins. Far, far better than us. Then what in the case of smell? There are sharks that are best. In land, dogs are the first. They are excellent in identifying the smell. They have been used in police departments to identify different cases. Why these animals are having more sensing capacity than humans? Here, the presence of receptors are important. The number of receptors in the sense organs are different in different animals. The surface of a postal stamp is enough to arrange all the olfactory cells in the nose of a human being. But a large scruff is required to arrange the olfactory cells of a dog. We have learned that in sense organs, each stimulus is received by a particular receptor. Then let's complete this table by adding sense organs and their receptors one by one. Sense organ, receptor, stimulus, eye, photoreceptors, light. Ear, auditory receptors, sound. Tongue, taste receptors, taste. Nose, olfactory receptors, smell. Skin, various receptors, pain, touch, pressure called heat. Eye is a major sense organ that helps the brain to evoke sensation. Then let's discuss in detail how are the eyes protected. Eye socket orbit depressions in the skull protects the eyeball. External eye muscles fixes the eyeball in the orbit. Eyebrow protects the eye from dust and sweat. Eyelashes protects the eye from dust. Eyelids protects the eye from dust and external shock. Conjunctiva secretes mucus which protects the anterior portion of the eyeball from being dry. Tears clean and lubricate the anterior part of the eyeball. Lysosomes the enzyme present in tears destroy germs that enter the eyes. Now shall we observe the figure of the eye? Lens, pupil, iris, cornea, conjunctiva, sclera, choroid, rectina, yellow spot, optic nerve and blind spot. Now shall we discuss what are the important parts of eye. Eyes are having three layers of protection, sclera, choroid and rectina. Sclera, the white outer layer which gives firmness to the eye made up of connective tissues. Choroid, the middle layer which contains a large number of blood vessels. Rectina, the inner layer which has photoreceptors. Let's discuss the more details about the layers of the eye and its parts. The outer layer sclera is again divided into two layers. Cornea, the projected transparent anterior part of the sclera which refracts light rays to focus on the rectina. Conjunctiva, the layer which covers 
and protects the front part of sclera except the cornea. The middle layer choroid is again divided into two layers. Iris, the part of the choroid seen behind the cornea. Presence of pigment melanin gives the iris a dark color. Pupil, the aperture seen at the center of the iris. The size of this aperture increases and decreases depending on the intensity of light. The inner layer rectina has also divided into two layers. Yellow spot, the part of the rectina where plenty of photoreceptors are present. It is the point of maximum visual clarity. Blind spot, the part of the rectina from where the optic nerve begins. Here, there is no vision as photoreceptors are absent. In addition to this, there are some more parts present in our eyes. Let's see that also. Lens Elastic transparent convex lens connected to ciliary muscles by thread-like ligament. Ciliary muscles Circular muscles seen around the lens. The contraction and relaxation of these muscles alter the curvature of lungs. Optic nerve transmits impulses from photoreceptors to the visual center in the brain. There are two kinds of fluid present in the eye. Aqueous humor. The water-like fluid in the aqueous chamber between the lens and the cornea. It is formed from the blood and is reabsorbed into the blood. Provides oxygen and nourishment to the tissues of the eye. Vitreous humor. The jelly-like substance seen in the vitreous chamber between the rectina and the lens. It helps in maintaining the shape of the eye. So, we have discussed the structure of the eye, its parts and functions in detail. And that's all for today. Bye-bye.